Hello there guys, welcome back to Unis Talks Football, welcome back to a brand new video. I hope all of you are doing well today, if I mean well, let's be honest, if you're a Liverpool fan right now, you're probably confused and buzzing at the same time. If you're a Brighton fan, you are on cloud 58, not even cloud 9, cloud 58, you've gone, you've surpassed all the clouds and you're on a different level. If you're a Chelsea fan right now, you are confused and gutted. But at the same time, maybe with a sense of anger. And we're going to get into this and we're going to really decipher what has happened and what needs to be done. Because as much as people have come to conclusions, the realistic uh, way to look at this is it's not done. But I'm going to be brutally honest because all the videos that I've done, we're talking about poker games, we're talking about strategy, tactics, waiting analyzing, reading, all that sort of thing, yeah? we're going to be brutally honest. This video is going to be brutally honest, short and sweet, but to the point because there is still going to be developments in this whole Kaiseido story. It's not done, but where we are now needs to be addressed. What I do want to say off the bat is if it comes to it, we have to take the L. If it comes to it, we take the L. That is if it comes to it. And this is why I'm doing this video now, very, very early, much earlier than I normally do, because there's going to be more news today. Today is D-Day. <clears throat> today is the day where we find out what is actually going to happen to Caicedo. Does he go to Liverpool? Do Chelsea somehow find a way? One of them's going to happen. So, let's analyse what, what went down. Last night, in the early hours, 1am, 2am, all those mad hours where people normally conked out asleep, it kicked off on another level. And that was, despite Chelsea actually putting a bid in, Chelsea put the bid, 90 million plus 10. They put 100 million on the table. And what happened? Liverpool came in with 110, what's rumoured this morning to be £111 million record British transfer fee for Caicedo. Brighton accepted. This was all in a midnight deadline auction. So for those that don't understand what that is, basically Brighton put out a deadline. We're going to put out an auction. Whoever has the highest bid gets the player by midnight, right? Midnight is the deadline. Whoever has the highest bid by midnight gets the player. Chelsea ended up putting that 100 million on the table, thinking that no one else was going to do it. And I get that, and we're going to come to that. Liverpool then come in and go, slap, 110. Brighton accept. Done. Done deal. Now that's verbally agreed, so it's not done just yet, but we'll come to that in a sec. Now I want to I wanna talk about Chelsea. I want to talk about what Chelsea actually did and the way that we've gone about it. In hindsight, hindsight is 2020. You, okay, you can only look back and go, oh man, we should have done this or we should have done this. The truth of the matter is this, and I have one part where I have to protect what Chelsea were doing and I have one part where I'm going to criticise what Chelsea were doing. The one part where I'm going to protect what Chelsea were doing, no one expected Liverpool to come in and do this. Let's be honest. No one. No one. The one indicator that did sound a little off was when we tried to go in for Lavia. Now, I think that was done in the anticipation knowing that Liverpool were going to come in for Caicedo. I think maybe Chelsea already had some knowledge behind the scenes that Liverpool were interested in Caicedo and were going to make a move. So maybe we were thinking, OK, you know what, let's scare them and let's try and go for Lavia. Without the anticipation that they're actually going to come in and put 110 million, no one thought this. Why? Because they were hesitating to get Lavia done. They were hesitating to come in and put 50 million on the table for Lavia. Yet, somehow, they've come in and put 110 for Kaiseido. No one expected that. So from that angle, I get it. But, but, let's be honest. This is where we have to, I'd say, criticise. Before we actually do that, if Chelsea had kept going on their strategy without Liverpool getting involved, we would have got Kaiseido. It would have been done. This would have happened, 100%. Even if we decide to put in a bid of 90 plus 10, Brighton would have looked at it and accepted it. It would have happened. But Liverpool coming in, in the moment that they did, has destroyed everything. So now Chelsea are in a situation, we're going to come to that in a sec, but let's talk about their criticism. If Chelsea were aware that they are willing to put 100 million on the table no matter what, then yes, maybe they should have done it sooner. Let's be honest. 
If Chelsea know that, okay, look, we're going to put 90 plus 10. It's going to come to that. Just put 90 plus 10. As I said, hindsight is hindsight. Hindsight is 2020. You know, we can only look back and go, oh, no, we should have done this or we should have done this. The strategy was working up until Liverpool came into the picture. But the truth of the matter is, maybe we were naive. Maybe we were naive. Maybe me included. Because we weren't expecting Liverpool to come in, but the truth of the matter is you never know what's around the corner and you can't take things for granted. And the one thing to learn from this is going forward, you go for a player for a massive tar- for a massive fee, there's one thing you have to do. How much are you asking for? Is it crazy? We can negotiate. If it's going to take too long, either pay the money or walk away and move on. You either pay the money, you get the player and move on, or you don't pay the money, you go, this is ridiculous, and you move on, you walk away and you move on. One of them. This is where it has to be... Because if you waste too much time, like we've done, let's be honest, we did take a while. Without the, without the expectation anyone was going to come in, but it was always a possibility. And this is where I think Chelsea have been naive. We took too long. Brighton have played a blinder. Absolute blinder. They are getting 110 million, maybe more. Fair play to Brighton. Now we know banter aside and poker games aside and all of that, Brighton have done an absolute madness on a business level and credit to them. Huge congratulations because they deserve it. They absolutely deserve it. That's fantastic business on Brighton's part. And Liverpool have come in with a massive fee and yes, they're overpaying. They are overpaying. Now this is where Chelsea... And to be fair to Liverpool, look, they've got this done in 24 hours. So in terms of time, like I was talking about, in terms of time, they've come in and got it done straight away. Fair play to them. But it's not done just yet. However, if they do get it done, they would have nailed Caicedo and McAllister for a total of 145 million. That's great business. When you think about it, that's great business. So on Liverpool's part, it seems ridiculous. But in terms of the overall structure, they have actually paid enough money for two top players that are going to transform their midfield. So they're not overpaying when you look at it in the grand scheme of things. Maybe just in isolation, but in gra- in the grand scheme of things, they're not overpaying. For those two players, 145, fair play, fair play. So this is where Chelsea now have a decision to make. We are, it's 10 a.m. UK time. Liverpool have already agreed. Medical is in place. Klopp, Klopp's going to speak to Caicedo on the phone, apparently. He's going to try and get this done ASAP. Liverpool don't want to waste time. Chelsea are in a predicament now. We have to make a move or we walk away and look silly. We have to look. We're in a situation now where we're going to look silly either way. We either look silly, we walk away, we look silly by not actually getting the player after all this time. And on top of that, having actually bidded 100 million that we were hesitant to put all along, which didn't even work yesterday because we were too late with it. If that 100 million came the day before, right, if that 100 million came just over 24 hours ago, we would have got Caicedo. We're putting it in after Liverpool have decided to put 110, we don't get him. So now we look stupid, let's be honest, because we did... We're going to talk in terms of poker, poker games. Liverpool have come in and gone all in. This is what Liverpool have done. Liverpool have basically come in, taken the cards and go, listen, Bright, and move out the way. Listen, I'm all in. What are you going to do? And we folded. (laughs) We have actually gone, no, you know what? We're not up to that. We're going to fold. And that's the reality of the situation. So if we're talking in terms of poker analogies, in the very end, we're the ones that have lost. But this is what Chelsea need to do now. We either don't make the move and we look stupid, or we put 100 million on the table yesterday We simply have to match. Go to 110. Even go to 115. Screw it. Add another 15 mil. We're willing to put 100. Put 115 mil. Are we overpaying? Yes. Is Caicedo worth that? No. But Liverpool have decided to put that. We need to decide to put that. It's going to end two ways. As I've said, we either pay the money and somehow hijack the hijackers end up getting some sort of street cred back, some sort of reputation like, whoa, Chelsea actually ended make, actually made this happen in the end. They actually ended up with the player. Despite looking down and, and, and knocked out, they somehow got up and got the deal done. That is going to get some sort of respect. Even though we overpay and we look silly. Or we walk away and we look silly because we spent three months negotiating for a player where we actually did end up giving Brighton what they wanted and it somehow still didn't work. So for the one exception, and I don't advise Chelsea ever do this again, but on this occasion, because of Liverpool, we have to go all in. We have to. Or we don't end up with Caicedo. Now, if we don't end up with Caicedo, who do Chelsea turn to? Who do Chelsea turn to? 
It's not going to be anyone that we actually think, oh yeah, this guy's going to transform the team. We need Kaiseido. So this morning, now, right now, the video's been uploaded. Chelsea needs to move now. Don't waste time. There's a medical booked for Caicedo in Liverpool today. Do not allow Caicedo to travel up north. Do not let him leave London. Block the hotel exit he's in. Get on the phone to Brighton. Put that extra extra money in. Do what you have to do to make sure Brighton accept and then get him over for a medical immediately. Do not let him leave the city. We have to do everything that we have to do now. There is no option. We're going to look silly for overpaying, but screw it. We end up with Caicedo. We either look silly and we end up with Caicedo, or we look silly and we don't end up with Caicedo. That's the truth of the matter in. We've had our pants pulled down. We are desperate. It's the reality of the situation. Brighton will accept if we put in the extra money. We've put in 100 mil. Screw it. Add another 15 on. Just add another 15 on. On this one exception, add another 15 on. We've made it clear to the market that we are tough to deal with. But at the end of the day, yeah, because of Liverpool, we've had to make serious adjustments and Chelsea need to do what they need to do now. Or we end up going for someone else that's just not going to be as good enough as Caicedo and we need Caicedo in this team. Let's be honest, we need Caicedo in this team. So Chelsea need to make those moves now. Let me know your thoughts down below. Let's see how this is going to end up. But this is what I want to say. It's not done just yet. Up until we get that, here we go. It's not done. And right now, yes, Liverpool have agreed a deal with Brighton. It's a verbal agreement. They will get in the paperwork ready in the early hours of the morning. It's not done just yet. He hasn't travelled to go and have his medical yet. Chelsea need to make the moves right now. If they do, there's a chance we can take this. We can take this. But Chelsea need to put the bid in now. Yes, the auction was done. But Brighton won't care. If they're getting more money, they're going to accept. Just put the extra money in. For the one exception this time, put the extra money in. That's it. That's it. And going forward, like I said, there's a lesson to be learned from this. Chelsea need to, in future, for a player of a magnitude like this and a fee like this, we need to literally go, how much are you asking for? Can we negotiate? Bring your price a little bit down. Don't waste time. You're not bringing your price down. Are we willing to match? Are we willing to put the money that they're asking for? If we are, pay the money. If we're not, walk away. Just walk away and don't waste time. Time is off the essence, and that's one thing we have to learn here. So... Let me know your thoughts down below in relation to this story. And I'm uploading this early because this saga is not over. So the next video you'll be getting later on today will be earlier than usual. It'll be video number two. It'll be coming, as I said, earlier than, than I normally post the um, second video of the day. But I'm sure it will be big news where we find out where is Caicedo going? Is he actually going to go to Liverpool? Or can Chelsea find a way in the next hour, few hours to somehow... Do not let him travel to Liverpool and somehow get this deal done. Let me know down below um, what you think will happen. And like I said, Chelsea, make the moves now. Make the moves. We either end up with Caicedo and look a little bit silly for overpaying or we don't end up with Caicedo and we look silly for having paid what we were hesitating to pay all along and somehow still didn't end up with the player. That's just the truth of the matter. And Liverpool, I hope, I hope you suffer. <laughs> I hope, I hope you suffer for causing this 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 mayhem, absolute mayhem. But like I said, look, I do want to mention before we end, Brighton, congrats on the money that they're going to be receiving. Tony Bloom, fair play, absolutely fair play. Banter aside, you absolutely played the blinder. And respect is respect, credit is due where it's due. So fair play to Tony Bloom and to Brighton for pulling this off. Liverpool, if they end up with the player, congratulations, but it's not done yet. And if Chelsea end up with the player, then we've gotten away with murder. So let's wait and see what's going to happen. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. The um, links were on screen to the social media links as well. They are in the description. So make sure you're following on all platforms. It's going down on, on Twitter, X, where I'm giving minute by minute opinions as the news comes in. So make sure you're following on there. My personal one, that is, as well as Eunice Talks Football. All the links are in the description. Hit the notification bell to be notified once I've uploaded smash like button if you've somehow enjoyed this i'm afraid right now lads and lasses the poker game is over the table's been crushed liverpool have gone all in we are on the brink of losing the game but do we have four aces <laughs> if we have four aces liverpool have put their cards on the table and they've got four kings now it depends what we have do we have those four aces do we hijack the deal or do we have four queens and we lose the whole thing that's where we are let me know your thoughts down below. Much appreciated. And I will see all of you later on where we come to a conclusion 
on Moises Caicedo. Where does he end up? Let me know down below. Thank you all very much, people. Have a good one. See you lot later. Take care and peace.